Hey, guess what? Mitt, uh, Mitt Tiny Steps Romney. <laughs> I don't know if you remember Mitt Tiny Steps. I'm here with Graham Melwood, Robert Yesimer, Hank Thompson, and Steph Zamorano. And remember what uh, Mitt Tiny Steps used to say about Donald Trump? Here's what he used to say about Donald Trump. If we Republicans choose Donald Trump as our nominee, the prospects for a safe and prosperous future are greatly diminished. If Donald Trump's plans were ever implemented, the country would sink into prolonged recession. Isn't he a huge business success? Doesn't he know what he's talking about? No, he isn't. And no, he doesn't. A business genius, he is not. Mr. Trump's bombast is already alarming our allies. Let ISIS take out Assad, he said, and then we can pick up the remnants. This recklessness is recklessness in the extreme. Now, Donald Trump tells us that he is very, very smart. <laughs> I'm afraid that when it comes to foreign policy, he is very, very not smart. <laughs> Donald Trump lacks the temperament to be president. <laughs> After all, this is an individual who mocked a disabled reporter. Donald Trump says he admires Vladimir Putin. At the same time, he's called George W. Bush a liar. That is a twisted example of evil trumping good. There's a That's the one time he got it right. <laughs> dark irony in his boasts of his sexual exploits during the Vietnam War, while at the same time, John McCain, whom he has mocked, was imprisoned and tortured. Dishonesty is Donald Trump's hallmark. His imagination must not be married to real power. Think of Donald Trump's personal qualities. The bullying, the greed, the showing off, the misogyny, the absurd third grade theatrics. Now, Mr. Trump relishes any poll that reflects what he thinks of himself. But polls are also saying that he will lose to Hillary Clinton. Of course, a Trump nomination <laughs> enables her victory. There's plenty of evidence that Mr. Trump is a con man, a fake. Mr. Trump has changed his positions, not just over the years, but over the course of the campaign. And on the Ku Klux Klan daily for three days in a row. I predict that there are more. Wow. Who there's is this guy? There's a lot of stuff him. he doesn't like about, especially that thing. He, Mitt Romney didn't like that Donald Trump flip-flopped. <laughs> <laughs> that was the last thing I played. He was like, he changes his mind. Guess who else changed his mind? Last night, guess who had dinner? Boo! Guess who had dinner? And that look on his face looks like looks like he's holding in the shit. Oh. Or as this, my mom's take on this photo, Romney looks like he's just been told no, Secretary of Steak. <laughs> Talk about changing your mind, huh? Do look at that. There's Mitt Tiny Steps Romney with Donnie Tana Hands Trump. And so you heard all that shit he said, right? Now, now here he was last night coming out of Donnie Tinehan's uh, executive office. Tiny little step. Like old times. I, I had a, a wonderful evening with uh, President-elect Trump. Uh, we had another discussion about uh, affairs throughout the world. And uh, these discussions I've had with him have been uh, enlightening and interesting and, uh, and engaging. I've enjoyed it very, very much. Uh, I, uh, I was also. It seems like he's changed his mind <laughs> over the course of this campaign. I can't decide if he's like, if he's, he's like, God, this guy's an idiot and I hate him, but I don't want to say that, or if he's really just this. So this is what, port in a storm politician. Like, yeah, this I, is him being Mitt, right? Mitt, like, fuck it. There's a chance to be Secretary of State. I'm going like, to take it. I got to take it. And uh, that's what, I don't care if it's Don, the guy who I said was unfit. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, so, so that, so, but this is what Donald Trump is doing is I bet he doesn't even give him the Secretary of State. I bet he does give him the Secretary of State because <laughs> what this is, what a typical strong man does is he has the guy who publicly. Right. Now you got to come and say something nice about me. So he's humiliating him. Yeah. He's Chris Christie. Look what he did to Chris Christie. He's humiliating yeah. them and he's doing it to so all those people. He's like when he had now Reince Priebus. Remember the night of the election when he won? He goes, Reds, come up here and say something. Because Reince, have, they took money away from the campaign. They weren't going to give him the money anymore. He's saying, so now, Reince, get up here and say something nice about me. And that's what that fucking was. It's and, get on your knees and kiss my yes! ring. Yes. Yes. And Trump is doing it and they're doing it.
And here he is. Let's listen to what else he has to say. Impressed by the remarks he made on his victory night. Uh, by the way, it's not easy when I know that myself. Uh, he did something I tried to do and was unsuccessful in accomplishing. He won the general election. Uh, and, uh, and he can- oh, man, that's got to hurt. It's got to hurt. It's got to even though he go, did he get less votes than Romney at the end? Can you check? See what how he because I know at first everybody, including this Joe, right. was saying that he got less votes than Romney, but then votes kept coming in. So let's double check. Used with a, a message of inclusion and bringing people together. Uh, and <laughs> message of inclusiveness and bringing people together. How can you say that with a straight face when your campaign slogan is ban an entire religion and build a wall? How how can you say that? Like, how can you say that? It's like me. I, I just, it's like, I, I can't, un- it's, I let's can't. Let's be clear. clear. This like, guy believes a, in magic underwear. It, let's be, on, on, on Thanksgiving, Trump tweeted out, happy Thanksgiving to everybody, even the losers. <laughs> He's inclusive, bringing people to, even the losers. This is what Trump tweets on Thanksgiving, even the losers. And I have to. He's say, the president. I I have to say the only thing that I can kind of like feel some sort of relief when I look at these two men is that I know they're both sober. Oh, they are they're Trump dead, and Romney. Yeah, they're, they're both sober. sober. Never trust a man who has no vices. That's what Lincoln said. No, um, Romney's clearly fucked up on coffee. <laughs> That's obvious. Look at how, look at how excited he is. This I is, also noticed like how tacky it is that we're conducting government out of the the lobby of a. Gross hotel, hotel. Oh. marble and gold. Uh, Some awful that's Vegas a side point. style. Oh, so Trump had a, a what? How many? It's like a million and a half. A million, and oh, half I, um, yeah, a million and a half more votes. Yeah, a million and a half more votes. Okay, then then Romney. All right, let's see what else he has to say. This vision is something which obviously connected with the American people in a very powerful way. The uh, the last few weeks, he's been carrying out a transition effort. I have to tell you, I've been impressed by what I've seen in the transition effort. No, you haven't. Uh, all of those things combined uh, give me uh, increasing hope that uh, President elect Trump is the very man who can lead us to that, that better future. Thank you. Are you guys in the same page with Russia? Wow. I don't even I, know what the truth is anymore. Are there any Republicans? That have even half a ball that could you know, just you know who's just, turned out to be the ballsiest Republican right now? Lindsey friggin' Graham. Yeah, he's turned out to be like my hero within the Republican Party. Oh, is he, is he still not? On he's board? the only one who's like this guy is still a piece of shit. <laughs> he's the only one who's standing by his guns. It's really? unbelievable. Yeah. All these Republicans came out against him because and and you realize oh you didn't think his policies or he was ab- abhorrent you didn't think it was racist and awful you just thought he wasn't going to win well now that he is well guess what now i can really just stop the pretending are they all just like let's get our jack boots on and our and our whatever happened to the he's unfit man whatever happened to that whatever happened to if any of these guys had half a spine half a ball they'd be like I, I, nothing has changed i'm more scared now than ever that he's in charge of the military what do you look what do you these are the it's here's the if the one good thing one of the many good things to get if there is any is like we talked about an earlier thing people are getting more involved and if everyone is like oh that's right it's all fucking bullshit Every, the parties are bullshit the media is bullshit the banks are bullshit and the polls are bullshit everyone is full of shit when any of these assholes get in their fucking suits and ties and talk just it's like i've heard recovering drug addicts say if an active addict is talking their if their mouth or move is they're lying like that's that's it they're just that's all these i don't believe a fucking word he says about this anything is what people but the weird thing is this is what people who voted for trump voted against these, these establishment politicians right. who just lie. That's why they like Trump, because Trump never sounds like that. Even when he's lying, he's lying in such a, a grandiose way that you, it's entertaining, right? right? And you know, it's almost well, like you- because he doesn't actually know he's lying. <laughs> this Hank? is the donors. I mean, the donors are the ones that decide when he comes out for or against Trump. That's what he did in the spring because they were trying to head off his nomination. Now that he's president elect, they're going to give him a chance because they are invested in the system and it not crumbling. But inevitably, this is going to go south. Then the donors will give people like Romney permission to come out and speak out against them. That's what it is. I agree with you. You know what? Because and and what's what's I think backs up your point. Oh, thank you. Is that Barack Obama called Hillary Clinton on election night and told her to concede. Yeah. Now, you talk about not having half a ball. Right. That's what that is, right? Because you think George Bush would have... Hey, if, anyway, 
no, we know how things go. And now they're do actually doing a fucking recount, which they should have done Hillary immediately. Clinton loses by like a half a percentage point. Shouldn't that trigger an automatic recount in that state? I think so. You think it you? would? It didn't. And then now you have to raise money to do it. You have to raise millions of dollars to have an accurate recount of a thing. So that's that's why that's uh, that that's all crazy. But uh, let's just remember what Mitt Romney really thinks. <laughs> Dishonesty is Donald Trump's hallmark. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> And now we're supposed to believe you. <laughs> <laughs>